So what we are doing with Smart Science is providing indoor navigation, a new way of navigation where it's like a tom tom, but for inside. Yeah, so everyone is used uh, to just stepping in their car, saying where they want to go, and there you go until you park your your car. You go into the building, and then we know all this sense of being lost inside. Well, I went from the point of not having to have. Uh, a device where you have to install special software and for each building, but make intelligent, personalized navigation inside the building. So now let's say John comes to visit me uh, in my office, and now he comes in, he goes to the reception, gets a badge, and just as he goes walking, it says on screens in the building, just like normal signs, John to the left, John to the fourth floor, John's to the right until he arrives at my office and there he sees also a small digital display that says, you know, John, I'll be back in two minutes. So this is what we are doing, providing the value of personalized dynamic navigation we are used to in buildings. Well, I, luckily I got a lot of support from the University of Twente in the form of a, of a business accelerator that not only looked at our technology but looked at the market. We got market research. Is there a market for smart science? How are we bringing it out to the market? How are we making from this a company? With this support, I won the, the two rounds of the STV valorization grant that is money from the Dutch government to support researchers take their research into a product. Well, my most important lesson, I think, is uh, what is your value proposition? Who is your market? Who is your customer? And what do they want? What the customer wants may not be what you have had in mind as a researcher. Well, that's Guy Kawasaki. I think every young entrepreneur and even more advanced should look at his videos, at his advice and uh, follow them. <laughs>